Who's ready for some damaged Funko Bobs? And donuts! Here we go. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I've got Joanna with me yet again. They're gonna get tired of me. They, not the donuts though. No, they're not gonna get tired of you. Um, no, but you're back. We got another great battle. We had our good, our mint boom loop boxes that we did the other day. Today we're doing the damaged ones. Now the good thing about the damaged- It's a boom loop week. Yeah, it is a boom loop week. The good thing about the damaged boom loop boxes is you usually get killer value back for I'm your excited. money. We've also got some donuts to try for today's video as well, which I know I'm very excited for. I think you're very excited for that as well. But look at this. Boom loot coming in clutch. Great job on the packing here. And uh, while you start to... Which one do you want? Um, I'll take this one for today. You want to slice that open? Yeah. I'll read everybody the details of the box. So this was volume 59 of their Boom Loots Imperfect Boxes. You get six pops for, I think it was $65. Yeah, $65 a box. There was only 30 boxes. And there's some incredible top hits in this run. First off, right off the bat... You actually timed it perfectly because you're rocking your Spongebob square pants shirt. I would love to pull I think the Patrick Star. Oh, yeah, it is a great shirt. I would love to pull Patrick Starfish. I, I kind of want that line, that OG Spongebob line. I kind of want it. So if we end up getting that one with a little bit of damage, I am perfectly happy with that. You got to manifest it. Got to manifest it. There's also a Hall H. Freddy, Sam the Eagle from the Muppets. I would also like to collect the Muppets line at some point, the OG Muppets. Um, there's a Chase Supersonic, Chrome, uh, San Diego Comic-Con, C-3PO, um, Ben Kenobi's up there, Doctor Strange Ghost Rider. The last few boxes have had a lot more Star Wars. I think since we're approaching Star Wars. Approaching May the 4th, like... yeah. But if there was one pop, we'll do the same thing. If there's one pop that you think you're going to pull, what, okay. what, what, what now, would it be? what do I want, what I think I'm going to pull. What do you think you're going to pull? You, you got to call your pop. Call one pop. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna pull this monsters uh, what, creature, creature the from Black the Lagoon? Lagoon. Okay. Yeah, I think that's right. the one I'm gonna pull. The one that I think I'm gonna pull. Hmm. You know what? We pulled Lydia the other day from Beetlejuice. I think I'm gonna pull Beetlejuice. There's a a glow. Go Toys and Games Beetlejuice good, up there. That that Beetlejuice has an insane glow. It so does. I, would love I, to I hope I pull that one. But here we go. Six pops. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. All right, let's start from the corner and boom. Oh, zero with bone. Dude, this is fantastic. You've been crushing it with the box lunch exclusives recently. The box lunch exclusives come home. Oh, I got this shirt from box lunch. Oh, you know, I manifested all the box lunches. Does this one glow? No, so there, there is one that glows. Okay, because he looks like he would glow. Yeah, he does, but I don't think this one glows. But I know there is one with glow mm -hmm. because uh, we lit it up for our um, Disney auction. Right. And he's coming in from 2017. And just going over condition really quick, I'm not seeing much. I mean, no. I, I don't see anything. So that's the other beauty uh, about these mystery boxes is some of the pops may not be damaged. Most of them do have some sort of damage, but some do not. So... My first pop. Uh, there's a little crunch here, a little tiny bit, but you can barely even notice it, only when you put it in the light. Oh, okay. My first pop here from Avengers Endgame, we have Tony Stark in the Quantum That's Realm a huge suit. Sticker. Yeah, look at this massive sticker. Entertainment Earth exclusive includes three collectible cards. I think the collectible cards were removed for shipping purposes. But anyway, we got Tony Stark here. He's fun. Should cross off the three. Zero collectible cards. <laughs> Zero collectible cards included. All right, you're My up next. My second pop is... Oh. Oh, Todoroki. He glows. Okay. Okay, I see you with the glow. Yeah, I wonder what the glow looks like on him. Yeah. From My Hero Academia. Uh, you've been editing 90% of the videos, so... Uh, I'll try to remember... Future John. To don't, throw a glow up there for everybody. Don't forget. Because I know it's one thing... I feel like nobody comments when I do add the glow, but when I don't add the glow, people are like, why didn't you add the glow picture for, for XYZ Pop? So I will have to make sure to remember to add the glow. But next up, oh man, we These got a great. clown. These are great. Walmart exclusive coming. Pennywise with the blade, as if Pennywise wasn't creepy enough. Now he has a blade. Now he's charging at you with a sharp object. Maybe he just wants to be friends, but no, he probably wants to kill you. But 
All right, not bad. Looking over Maybe, tradition. Maybe, you know what? He wants to help slice open a Funko box. Yes, he wants to help us with our unboxing. There you go. Another older pop, though, 2019. That's great. We'll see you at Halloween, Pennywise. We'll see, we'll see you at Halloween, absolutely. <laughs> okay, ready? All right. uh, should I do the corners, or should I grab from the middle? Up to you. I don't know how they're imperfect boxes. I think are. they just randomly put it in. Boom! Oh! Vision from Avengers 57 here from the Marvel Collector Core boxes. It's a cool. All right, I like the I like the back art. And comic book Vision. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the front. Look at this comic art in the back. Yeah, they did a good job. And this is a a really nice one. We actually saw Paul Bettany dress up as this version of the Vision in the WandaVision Disney Plus show. So that's pretty cool. I, don't, I bet you this one has a little bit of value. I hope so. If, does he have a thing? No, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't scan, so good luck. I might keep this one. I need that one for my collection. I think I'm pretty sure I do. All right, my third pop before we get to the donuts. We are... Oh! You manifested it! We manifested it! I wanted this. I told you right before the video. I was like, I hope we pull... Patrick Starfish 2013! Oh my gosh. Dude, we have not been manifesting any of the pops. We have guessed wrong in almost every video. <laughs> I cannot believe we guessed one correct. Uh, uh, this dude, is... and he looks immaculate for 11 years old. I mean, I'm like shaking right now. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Can you believe this? No. Dude, this is I'm insane. so happy. Look. I think you won, but... <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. And I even matched the bow. I had the yeah. red bow on to match crabs, and I changed my bow. I said, I'm going to do a pink bow because of Patrick. All right, so he does have a little damage. Now I see a little damage at the top, but honestly, that is nothing. Like, for 2013, like, there are pops from 2022 When you put them in a hard stack or an armor, like, you're not going to notice. Yeah, you're not going to notice. Man, yes! Crushing it once again. Boom blue come into play. Oh my god, that's amazing. All right, well, we're three pops in. Oh, we're stopping here? We're gonna, let's do our donut break here. That is cool. absolutely amazing. So, as you guys, or some of you guys may know, we live pull up the... in the Northeast, and the Northeast is home to Dunkin' Donuts, and a lot of people love Dunkin' Donuts donuts, including us. We absolutely love Dunkin' Donuts. Today, we don't have Dunkin' Donuts. We actually have Honeydew donuts we've never had them before we're gonna give them a shot here and right off the bat joanna was loving the uh the slogan here where doers right what does it say where doers do or here's to the doers that's right and Hashtag we are here's doers. to the doers that's us we're the doers and most likely most of you guys out there too so go so doers. we got the six pack because we ordered doordash and um they were offering 20 percent off if gotta you go. spent 20 dollars yeah so, gotta go 20 percent off. yes so we got the chocolate honey dip, okay. the OG honeydew. I'm guessing this is OG honeydew. Okay. Uh, chocolate frosted with jimmies. Those are sprinkles. Jelly donut. Uh, strawberry frosted with jimmies. And Boston cream donut. I'm so excited. This is amazing. So we've never had honeydew donuts before. So this is a first time for us. If you guys have ever had honeydew donuts, let us know down in the comments section below and let us know. What's your favorite donut? This is exciting. I'm Which very one are you excited. Gonna do? I'm going to go Boston cream. I absolutely love Boston cream. So my favorite donut is jelly. Jelly? So, yeah. All right. Out of all these. All right. Cheers. Ready? Yeah, that thing is packed. Mm. Oh, wow. That is good. That is a good donut. What a great day. <laughs> Patrick Star and Donuts. That's amazing. I don't know what we're going to do with the other four <laughs> donuts. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, we so, have neighbors. <laughs> so I can tell you from the Boston Cream perspective here, I've had a lot of Dunkin' Donuts, Boston Cream Donuts. They're great. This one is pretty awesome because sometimes when companies make the Boston Cream Donut, they just like infuse it with way too much of that cream so you like bite it and then the cream drips down this one has a perfect cream to donut ratio like you bite into it you get some but it doesn't like overdo it if that makes sense i don't know if i've ever had a boston cream donut in boston i don't know 
Are we are we going after another one here? Are we trying all these or? I want to try their OG flavor. Okay, I want to try this double chocolate. Well, how was overall? How was the the jelly? The jelly donut is perfect. The same thing like you. Sometimes the jelly starts to drip down your chin because they fill it up so much, and. Um, this jelly is not super sweet. Sometimes it's like so sweet that it attacks you back here. Mm -hmm. And this jelly donut is perfect. So I'm guessing this is their OG donut that they have. I like I like plain donuts. Yeah, I've just been into the double chocolate glazed. That one, um, it's not my favorite. Actually, I think it's like too chocolatey and not enough glaze if that okay. makes sense um so i wasn't i'm not in love with that one so but now but, we've bit all of them so we can't give them away um <laughs> this happens. this um what's what's the deal with this one i don't know how to explain it 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 has the consistency a tiny bit more of cake rather than donut but it makes it good same thing with the chocolate one it's like more cake yeah but it's good. It's not mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. I think the honey cuts it yeah. from being like super sugary. I like that. Can I tell you what? This is my favorite one so far. Yeah. This, this right oh here. no, the jelly is still my favorite. But I like that. All right, you do the chocolate. I do strawberry, and oh, yeah. we've officially we're, bit oh them all. God. Dude, we're. This is cheers. <sighs> Are you gonna eat the rest of these? Cause you know I'm not a huge sugary fan, so. <laughs> and we don't waste food. We should have cut them all, so then that way we could have given them to people and be like, these are the ones we didn't chew on. We can still cut the places we didn't chew. I'm, oh, I'm going to send them all to my family on a one-day label. Boom. <laughs> we can't send donuts. Uh, all right, That was ready? so good. Oh, I take it back. That one was my favorite one. The classic, just regular donut with the chocolate cream and the sprinkles or the jimmies. Oh, man, that was so good. That one, perfect cream to, to sprinkle a donut ratio that was fantastic oh my gosh all right that was my least favorite i definitely like them a little bit more than dunkin donuts oh, which I, got goosebumps. I feel like we're not allowed to say since we live in boston but how often but we're moving but how <laughs> often kidding. do we get donuts from dunkin donuts? that's true yeah, very, the only time i get donuts rarely. from dunkin donuts it's free is free donut when is when i get the apple sometimes i'm like john can you get me the apple like that, that is fritter. The apple thing, yeah. if they have it there, that is the one I'm getting. Um, I I didn't particularly like the strawberry one, but that's just me. It was a little too sweet for me. Yeah. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Honeydew? I'm I'm also going to give them a 9 out of 10 because um, it, it's different. It, it, they're not so, like, sugary and stuff like that. Yeah. They taste, like, um more, like... Homey, homemade. Homey and like they have more of a cake consistency, yeah. which I which I prefer. So, all right. That was today's food review, guys. Let us know down in the comments section below if there's any other place or specific item that you guys would like us to try in the future. And I've seen your comments. I know you guys want us to try Wahlburgers. Wahlburgers is a big one, yeah. Um, and I know you guys said like some Spanish food. Um, so we're we're trying, but a lot of the stuff is in the city, so we try to pan it yeah. around when John goes to work. Because the traffic is just unbelievable. If you get caught going the wrong direction during rush hour. That's like, it. That's it. I'll see you in two hours. Yeah, that's All it. All right, ready? I go, go next. Go for it. Yep. yep, you're up next. Jessica oh, Jones. Oh, this is a good one. So they're actually bringing the Defenders, which Jessica Jones is a part of, they're bringing them back into the MCU, which is All awesome. All right, good for her. Yeah, her pop was pretty valuable at one at point. At one point. I, I think it's. I think it. it's come down. Yeah, it's come down a little bit. Oh, we have another Marvel mm -hmm. one. This one is phenomenal. Year of the Shield, Amazon exclusive, Bucky. This is fantastic. From the Winter Soldier. This, so this one was cool because this was a moment from the 2014 Winter Soldier film that they should have made into a pop from the OG wave. They didn't. They did two versions of Winter Soldier. They did the unmasked version and then the masked version. But this was cool because it came out in like 20, yeah, 2021. So it came out several years later. And I actually think that this is way better than the original Winter Soldier pops. I do think so. we need to talk to Amazon because their sticker is a little big. Sticker's a little big, but the killer thing about this one, though, 
Look at that awesome year of the shield. I think sticker. the year of the shield sticker is amazing, amazing, and I think it gets overpowered by that huge Amazon sticker. It does. They should have done. Well, they have little Amazon stickers, like some of the ones, like um, uh, the 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 Bad Batch ones that works with the Amazon. That's they a have Galaxy tiny. Galaxy Edge, right? Or what is it? It's Galaxy something. Uh, well, there was the Power of the Galaxy yeah. line. No, no, no. They did a couple random Bad Batch pops where they have tiny stickers because they come with pins and some of the other ones that are well, amazon exclusives I don't follow star wars like it's okay that. no worries you don't have to follow star wars but you should follow marvel especially tonight guys because we are having a big marvel auction over on whatnot all marvel items pops sodas and some other cool items so if you guys are looking for something specifically marvel related for your collection come on over tonight on the whatnot app we actually have a link in the description below that will get you 15 dollars off your very first purchase so that's what we'll be doing this evening Yep. All right. My pop is oh the Harlequin Quinn Dude, Demon glow another in the glow. dark. Do you have this one? I don't think I do. I have the diamond version, but I don't have this glow in the dark version. I didn't even know there was a glow version. Neither did I. That mold is incredible yeah. too. And that, I just love how well they did like the yeah and that, that the spacing that original Barnes and Noble sticker looks great on there as well. Look at that, twenty eighteen. All right, I have my fifth pop here, My Hero Academia Hot Topic Exclusive Katsuki Bakugo. You know what's great about this pop? It always comes back. I can pronounce the name. <laughs> Not many of them out there, but um, this one's cool. Um, I can see, I'm guessing the damage is a little bit of the, uh, sticker. the sticker peeling up, but other than that, I mean, overall, these pops have been in pretty good condition. And so. my last pop. What do you got? Boom. Oh, oh Count that's a good one. That's a good one right there. Fungo Shop exclusive, Count Chocula with the cereal bowl. Yeah, that one's phenomenal. If you're an ad icon collector, this is definitely the one to get because the original Count Chocula is pretty pricey. This one I think is only like 40, 50 bucks, which is still great. But um This you know, box was great. I'm super stoked with our boxes. Here we go. Here is my last pop. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Emily from The Corpse Bride. Very nice. You know, her soda is still one of my favorite sodas of all times. But um all right, we got six pops each. Uh, we, I'm still super psyched yeah. that we pulled that package. I can't believe so, we did that. Can't believe it. Um, I think the uh, the score is tied once again. So this is pretty critical. We're going to see who can get that go-ahead point. You guys will have to find out in just a sec. Would you like to go first? I would like to go first. I wrote down all my values. Oh, time. look at you. Write down your numbers. <laughs> but I'll still go first. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with the demon here. And can you believe he's only coming in at $10? Yeah, that's insane. Ten dollars, guys. Like, I don't know. There's, there's, there needs to be more people aware that this pop exists. I feel like more people are aware of it. I think it'll sell. This is just the placement of the sticker is low, where you can see all of his detail. Yeah. He's killing it. This is a pop you guys need for your collection. Uh, my next pop, also from that same line here, coming in at fourteen dollars. Yeah, still good for me still all right I, th I was expecting a little bit more for that one too because zero is very popular so my highest pop oh. of all of my polls is actually Todoroki here really coming in at 48 dollars wow good for okay. good for him that's awesome uh next i had i would have thought this one was your most so expensive. i thought so too i thought he was like in the 50s he's actually only coming in at 41 dollars okay. amazing condition Honestly, like I don't see anything wrong with him. Yeah, he looks great. So forty-one dollars, Jessica Jones. I thought her value had like come down a little bit, but no, she's still she, up there. She's still coming in at thirty-five dollars. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, that's I thought bad. she had come down into like the twenties, but um. Well, this show was phenomenal on yeah. Netflix, and the beauty thing about this line is there was only two pops, so there was only Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. Luke Cage then went on to get his own show, and then they were in the There's Defender show together. A so. little bit of damage back here, but that's I think, minimal. I think we're actually going to be seeing her again in the brand new Daredevil Born Again series. So I think that's when we'll see her pop up. So, okay. and then you got one more pop. And then my last pop is this vision here coming in at $22. Really? Oh, wow. Which gives me a grand total of $170. That's really good. I mean, these were $65 boxes. You almost 
what or did you the trip almost tripled almost your value be, yeah because be 130 like yeah 195 would have been triple yeah. so yeah almost all right um now breaking down my values so first up emily beautiful emily here she is coming in at only 14 dollars. i thought she would be worth a little bit more um then i have katsuki bakugo here another cool one he is not my highest value pop he's only coming in at 13 Pennywise here. This was the real shocker for me. Pennywise, believe it or not, is only eleven dollars. So he has a blade. Pretty, yeah, pretty he crazy. Will cut you. Up next, I have Winter Soldier here. Now I do have to comment really quick. I I just saw the other day that Sebastian Stan, who plays Bucky, aka the Winter Soldier, he's supposedly not going to be in the brand new Captain America Four movie with Sam Wilson's Captain America, which. I really hope is not true because I think his character just has so much more story to tell. Plus, Sebastian Stan does a great job portraying the uh, the character and everything. So, nonetheless, his pop is coming in at twenty five dollars. So not bad. Then we had my lowest valued pop. This is uh, really? the Tony Stark in the Quantum Realm suit. He's coming in at only nine dollars. Surprisingly, even though Avengers Endgame was you know considered like a huge success. Well, I mean it was a huge success and it was. Um, widely appreciated and beloved by Marvel fans everywhere. Some of these Avengers Endgame pops are not like very they're expensive. They're a lot of duplicates. They look kind of like... They're very similar, it's just yeah. just a different outfit. Very similar. And then, uh, not surprising, my most valuable pop here is Patrick Starfish from Spongebob Squarepants, coming in from 2013. Although, he's a little bit lower than what I expected, okay. so he's come down. Still, a great one. We're super stoked to now have it in the collection. Coming in at $75. That's it? Right? It doesn't that seem I crazy he was low? In the he was. Uh, he's come down a little bit. That whole line, it looks like, has come down. So it's a great time for you guys to pick it up. Great time to pick it up. Sometimes lines come down. Once people realize they come down, they start yeah. to purchase them and they go back up. Yeah, absolutely. So I actually have a grand total of a hundred and forty seven dollars. So you, you pulled my pop and I still won. Good for me. We pulled the pop that you know I wanted but mostly you wanted and everything and you took home the point. So you are once again retaking the lead and um, this year's battle series it just continues yeah. to get very exciting. But guys, let us know down in the comments section below, what was your favorite pop out of the 12 pops that we pulled? Honeydew Donuts, shout out to them. They were absolutely fantastic. Full disclosure, we actually got a full breakfast from them. The breakfast was phenomenal as well. We actually ate it just as our breakfast. We didn't eat it on camera. We just did the donuts for the camera, but we'll definitely be ordering from them again. And uh, last tidbit of information for you guys tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, over on the WhatNot app is our big Marvel show. Every single Marvel item that we have left in our inventory must go tonight because we are moving and a couple short months here. So tonight is our last big Marvel show in this house, which is actually a little bit bittersweet. Um, it's, it's crazy. It's it counting is, down. We're counting down, guys. It is, it's it not is, scary. It's getting down to the wire. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. And as always, don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you guys tonight. You want to hold the box or the donuts? Ah, uh, the donuts. <laughs> I'm definitely the fat one in this relationship. Ah, donuts! <laughs> <laughs>